Billionaire Black speak on why, you know, he did Scrooge G. Or or he's speaking on Scrooge G dissing FBG Duck. So he end up dissing Scrooge G. You feel me? Well, he end up dissing Scrooge G dead homies and shit. And we've been to get into this shit and see what the fuck, you know, the full details about this shit. On why the fuck, you know, he really did this shit. He had to run it back because you've been so in the news. Mine. I'm on fire, man. Boy, teed up, man. What's up with y'all? What's up, what's up? YouTube trending. Back to back. You know? <laughs> not, not, not on accident. Back to back. I ain't signing no label. You living the high life off that Scrooge G stimulus pack? Man. <laughs> Everybody else trying to make some paper. Why am I, why am I getting no paper off these niggas? I was saying hey, my name. They they say now like oh dissing doesn't do anything for you or whatever. I didn't know about him. He drops a diss bar, objectively a diss bar, or whatever. He says it's not a diss. All of a sudden, I'm a fan of his music. I got good music to listen to from you going at him. I'm gonna yeah. be real with you. I skipped over the King Yellow diss tracks, <laughs> but then we also get to listen to you know Q50 <laughs> hopping in it. He said we skip. We we had to skip over. Yes, King Yellow, you are ass. King Yeller is at, like King Yeller. If you see this shit, bro, listen, bro. Hang that shit up, bro. Hang that shit up, bro. You embarrassing yourself. You embarrassing your kids. You too grown to be doing this shit. That that that's why you doing streaming and shit like I'm doing. Hang that shit up, man. But it's crazy, motherfuckers didn't know about Schooly G till that this shit. I thought lots of motherfuckers knew about Schooly G, but. I guess motherfuckers didn't know about him till that duck situation. Hey, every, everybody <laughs> happened in it. Why you dis- why you listen to y'all listen? I mean, I'm not I probably did listen to it, but it didn't make much of an impact on me. I'm gonna be real. All right. But he's he's like the weird fair. owl of, of, of drill rap. That, that's fair, I guess. I don't take it too seriously. Yeah, you gotta step it up. Yeah, you gotta step it up, bro. That's a music thing. Yeah, you know. <laughs> he said, yeah, but you can't step it up. He says, no, he, he, even his homies know that yellow and yellow. Even his homies know that he need to hang that shit up. Yellow need to hang that shit up for sure. I ain't gonna capture you. All that. Even his homies know he doing that, doing that bullshit. It's all music. Yeah, for sure. Definitely. But, um, if somebody was to say something about one of your dead homies in a song, like a reference in a song, you wouldn't take it to disrespect, bro? I mean, if that's his ops, then, like, you know, Draco died, and I, I, I'm cool with people that put Draco in raps, but that's like they had a real deal war. Yeah. So I don't really. But it's like, you feel me? It's like, it's, it, what how he said it, it's like he on, on some pun shit. Like, he was on some, uh, you know, he said, catch a nigga at the stove, pop out, do him like duck. That do sound, like, you feel me? That do sound bad saying that shit. But you got to think about it. He did get killed at the store. He just using it as a pun. You feel me? Saying he'd do a motherfucker like duck. Now, of course, he could have said someone else this, that, and third, but he used him for it. But I say it's actually a this. No. But you feel me? Like I said, I can understand how he take it as this because that is his homie at the end of the day. And that is disrespectful to even bring up. But I, at a rapper, he just using that as like a punchline type shit or whatever the fuck a pun. Feel some type of way no, about no, it. No, no, no. But about, it's really G like totally outside of all that. So I can understand how you guys felt the way like about you it. Want, he's not even from Chicago, brother. Right. You feel me? He's in Indiana. You, 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 you like. An hour and a half away. Keep that down, son. Are we, um, no, that's cool. Are we good? All right. Yeah, you feel me? Like, he like an hour away. She said an hour and a half away. Why is he bapping? Why are you bapping, gang? You is bapping. Bro, I'm from Chicago, nigga. Nigga, what? Motherfucking. It depends on what part of Chicago. Yes, it, he could be far away. But, nigga, you talking about over east. You talking about over east, nigga. You go, you, you, nigga, you live, if you over there on, uh, on motherfucking, motherfucking, uh, damn, what the fuck? I'm motherfucking, how is that? All right, over there on Buffalo. I used to live over there on Buffalo, Burley and shit. Right, nigga, you go over that bridge, nigga, over that bridge right there, bro, 
that's Indiana gang. Indiana, bro, that's literally like you just go over the bridge, bro. You right there, bro. On gang, literally, you go into the avenues in, in Chicago, bro. You in the avenues, right? And it, it turned into Hamlin, Indiana. Well, East Chicago. Why you think they got East Chicago, Indiana gang? Because that shit basically Chicago, damn it. Basically Chicago, bro. Like Indiana closes the to Chicago for certain part. Now, me, I just saying this shit because I'm from over east. So you feel me? Like, nigga, you know what little school and shit from? Like, nigga, him in East Chicago and all that shit. That shit like 20 minutes away from the east side, if you're talking about over there. So he not that far away from Chicago, bro. He and Gary. Gary not that far. I literally moved to Gary. Yeah, but he said, all right, so the first thing he had said, he had made the duck reference where he said the downtown shit. And then y'all yeah. got on the phone after that? Yeah, bro, nigga called me, bro. Before any of the diss songs even came Before out? Before anything touched the internet, twin. Anything touched the internet, I can die right now. Like, I can, right here, I can die on this camera. Before anything touched the internet, y'all know me, bro. I stay on my, y'all know me personally, bro. I stay on my own lane. I don't bother people if they say something to me. Yeah. You feel me? This shit happened. Um, no more heroes put out the preview to the song, and it was just like the part when they were dissing yellow, like just yelling it, yelling from 73rd, not 63rd. Yeah. You feel me? I do music, you feel me? You can't, you can't knock good music at all. You feel me? Y'all know I ain't never been no hater. You feel me? Like, got good music. I listen to it, you feel me? Like, so when he dropped the little preview, I call yellow on some trolling. You feel me? Like, yellow from 73rd, not 63rd, like playing with yellow. Yeah, and he like, how you know he ain't diss you? Like, oh, bro, that ain't diss me, bro. They would have put the whole thing. Because you really got on the phone with them and had, like, a real But no, we had a conversation, too, with them. Right. They both better. That's how I got my number from Yellow. Oh, okay. Them and Nick called me, like, 3 in the morning. He texted me. I'm, who is this? He just screwed me. I'm, bro, I ain't finna argue with you, bro. It's too it's too late for this shit. And he said, bro, I ain't finna argue. Pick up. I answer. We on FaceTime. He, damn, bro, what you doing? You smoking tink? I had made a post because he had dropped a little <laughs> trip, the little thriller video, a little thriller video. And I had made a post like since it's not smoking duck. I mean, since it's not making song about duck, we smoking tink. You feel me? Mind you, I don't even know who the hell tink is. You feel me? <laughs> that's uh, someone from Indiana, one right. of his people. You feel me, brother? Mm -hmm. Like, but you know that that's what niggas gonna do. That that that's what any any real nigga gonna do. You you say you dissing my homie. I'm gonna do my research and see what dead homie you get, and I'm just gonna say fuck him. Just 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 just, 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 just disrespect him. Because you disrespect my people. I don't even know. Because you disrespect my people. I don't have no problem with nobody in Indiana. You feel me? I, right. One of the guys, one of the FBG members, number 99, Lil Jeff, he's from Indiana. You feel me? Like, yeah. number 99, y'all do y'all homework. They're going to put it in the comments. You feel me? On folk. Like, number, nine from, number 99 from Indiana. So we should be out there all the time. So when a nigga called and he like, um, damn, what we doing? We smoking tank, bro. I'm like, bro, you just said you going to jump out and do it like duck. Like, what what we going with this? Like, make it make sense. Oh, it wasn't a diss, bro. It was just a reference, this and that. Screw the river. Like, all right, that's fine. But let me would have came out and said, I ain't gonna cap to you. Like that. That's what I'm saying. I'm seeing. I'm seeing both sides. I'm seeing both sides of it because it's like, yeah, he could take that shit as a diss for sure. But looking at it as a rapper, he using that shit as a rapper. But I feel like if you want to stay clear of beef, you shouldn't have even said. That type of shit, bro, because that shit gonna cause some shit regardless. Oh, my homie died in my arm like Screwy Brother on a song. It's gonna sound like a diss, right? For sure. It's gonna it's just gonna sound like a diss, nigga. Like, so you can't be mad about how someone took what you said because that's how you said it, bro. You didn't you didn't say it no nice way. There's no way you can make that nice. There's no way you can make it a reference without being disrespectful, bro. It's just my opinion, and that's everybody around me opinion. You feel me, bro? And he called and we talked and the nigga like, guess what we doing? I'm like, nah, bro. Can you delete that shit, bro? You don't even know you don't even know Ting. Um, bro, you don't know duck. It won't know this. Mm -hmm. All right, we got so uh, understanding. I deleted my post. Like deleted it. He took his shit down and all that. You feel me? Boom. Go about our days. The next two, three days later, I guess he getting his feelings, get to seeing this shit online. He get to making posts about us again, talking about me and Swag big for a song. Never in my life asked this man for a song. I can doubt right now. This nigga told me on the phone. I got the whole shit recorded. Like, 
I swear to God, like, but I ain't on no police shit. I ain't trying to drop no conversations or no shit like that. On Doug got the whole conversation recording. He said, Bap, you know me. We supposed to do a song back then. You know me. Mario um visuals and um status update used to shoot videos for the nigga back then. Word. Before he was anybody, you feel me? Like he like I would have thought that you and Ruger would have reached out to me personally, bro, because y'all know me. I'm like, I don't know you. Like, oh, we supposed to we was talking about Nah, that shit crazy as hell, bro. That shit crazy as hell. Folks says it's looking like an Indian nigga right here, bro. Folks says it's looking like a fucking Indian right now, bro. Right then we supposed to do some shit. I don't know what happened. Woo woo, bro. Get the fuck out of here, bro. Laugh it at that. A couple of days later, the song dropped. The little snippet dropped. He hit up, um, he hit up, um, I think it was Ruga, I think. I think Yella said he hit Ruga up and told Ruga, like, yeah, I diss Yella, I diss Billy, swag, I ain't diss you, though. Some some weird shit. Like, you feel me? Like, I don't know what they got going on, but Yella, Yella like, yeah, he said that. He said he dissed you, too. He told Ruga that he dissed you, too. You feel me? Mm. So that day, once I get the confirmation that dissed me, man, he called me four days ago. I got his number. So I text him, up, damn, you dissed me, Scud? The nigga sent me a question mark. I FaceTime when we get on FaceTime. It's murder. So fucking cooked, bro. Dumb ass little boy. Like, just dumb as hell, bro. Like, it's murder. He's cooked, bro. I'm talking to the nigga. What's up, bro? Like, dude, why you diss me after we were just cool? Yeah. No, bro. I ain't gonna hold you. My people know says I went out like a bitch. <laughs> can't no bro. This nigga right here can't make me feel no type of way, twin. You can't make me feel no. You can't make. Now one of you niggas can take me. I ain't gonna capture you. That is some whole ass shit to say, bro. I ain't gonna capture you. A nigga say that shit, bro. I'm boy, fuck you, gang. You a fucking goofy gang. Now I don't know if he really did that goofy ass shit, but if he said that shit, bro, I'm gonna be like, bro, your ass is a goofy gang. Real deal, bro. I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. Cause it's like, bro, nigga, why you letting a nigga convince you to do some shit, bro? If you didn't want to do that shit, bro. Talking about, I look like a bitch. If you know you ain't a bitch, bro, that's all that matter, bro. You got to understand it with folks, so all that other shit don't matter. You know, my character, only I can do that myself, bro. How you let some get in your head and tell you that you went like a bitch because you deleted this shit and because everybody apologized, this and that. You look like you like a bitch, but you got in your feelings and went to the studio and made this song. I would have looked at it as mature, especially for somebody his age. It's kind of easy to be mature when you're your age or you my age. Me? For him being a young jit on the scene, it takes a little bit more humility to it take a do, step but, back. And, and this is what it was. As we having a conversation on the phone, and telling me in so many words, like, this is first time going to that. Bro, everybody loved me, bro. As soon as I dropped this, this is my first time seeing hate. You feel mm -hmm. me? I've been going through this shit my whole life. That's you probably true, yeah. He Niggas, doesn't really know what it's like that much yet. You ain't, you ain't ready. You're not ready for this shit. You're soft as hell, bro. Like, you're, you're searching for love right now, sir. Like you need someone to love you. Your mama don't love you. You live you live in that basement, sir. We was on FaceTime. He said, bro, you searching for love, bro. You <laughs> okay, bro. This shit crazy as hell, bro. I ain't gonna lie to you. That shit crazy. We was on FaceTime, sir. Your bed was in the basement. If it's a bed in the basement, that's your room. <laughs> if it's your house, you have a master room, right? I'm just saying, I got a master room. My room, my, my bathroom. I mean, my bathroom in my room. That's all I'm saying. You feel me? Like, I feel like he could easily afford an apartment, especially in fucking Indiana. That's what I'm saying. That's yeah, what I'm yeah. trying to figure out, like, <laughs> what you got going on, twin? Like, right. But I ain't here to slang with another black man. He's <laughs> there, especially in Indiana gang, because yeah, Indiana is cheap as hell. Literally, my first, I literally moved to Indiana. My first apartment was in Gary, Indiana. Because that shit was cheap as hell. Like, literally, I moved to Indiana because it was cheap as hell. And that was the way for me to be able to get up on my feet and shit. And you know me, being from the, I'm from the hood, gang. I can move to Gary and shit, bro. I know how to move in the hood, bro, because I'm from the hood. So it's like, you feel me? I feel like being from Chicago, bro, you ready for anything, gang. As long as you ain't no goofy and let that shit gas you up. Lots of niggas die out of state because they let this Chicago shit gas them up and think everybody else just goofies. And none of that, bro. It was just the nigga was on there doing all that extra shit, bro. And then he dropped this song. We on the phone. And I'm telling him, like, bro, 
you know I ain't yellow. I love you, yellow. You know I ain't yellow, bro. Like, you know I can rap for real, right? Like, <laughs> and you know, like, I will really get up with you for real, twin. Like, bad ass. Like, I'm I'm on the West Coast. He, he said, <laughs> I ain't yellow. Even, like I said, bro, Yella can't even be mad that no one don't take him. Like, your own homies know your ass is ass. Like, your own homies know you ass, Yella. So, when your homies know you ass, gang, hang it up. Just just hang it up, gang. <laughs> you you ain't never go, you probably never see niggas. You gonna see me. I live here. Right. Like, you're going to run to me on accident, on purpose. We're going to be in these same rooms, bro. Like, you got some money now. You're going to be in them rooms we in now. You feel me? Like, it's cool. But it, let us know what it is. We playing ball or is this a rap battle? You feel me? How are you taking it? <laughs> yeah. I'm taking it as however niggas want to play it. Y'all know me. I don't bite my tongue. I'm a grown man. You feel me? I just turned 32 the other day. I just, turned white. I just left Hawaii, came here. Yeah. You feel me? Like, I'm a grown man, bro. Like, so it's how I give, I, I re recorporate energy that's given, bro. I ain't get on there and say, let man people for no reason. He got on there and started that shit. You feel me? I ain't, I ain't go to Indiana and record a video on some janky shit like that. No, I ain't do none of that. Why? Because you said it's music. It was a reference to a song. Yeah. yeah I like it to him. Yeah, because I mean that that's like the best defense of like what he said with that duck line is like uh what, what's that girl who had the line like you gonna you gonna be with Tupac when we come shoot up the studio. Nah. Now that's like a 30 year old you reference. Feel me? That's a reference to some shit that happened then, back in the day. You don't know any of Tupac's homies. He's saying back it in the about day, it wasn't doing disrespectful shit, like making it as disrespectful true, back then. True. It was literally a metaphor back then. Yeah. You, you feel me? This day and age we live in now, everything is to disrespect and hurt the next person you feel mm -hmm. me bro like it, that's just how it is bro like and there's no way around you can make it seem like nigga it was a metaphor because if i would have said like i said on that other song duck died with his gun in his hand your brother died in your arms if i would have said that on the song with, without even dissing him he would have felt like i was talking about his people bro like you feel me like if, even if i would have said i'll just i just know that your people died in your arms bro and i'm just putting it in a reference you feel me? Like that shit. That's just how it works, bro. Like, yeah, that shit. That, yeah, yeah I, you see, I'm getting what he coming from. You feel me? But I, like I said, I been understand because it's like this. Basically, he say, "Woo, woo." He making this. Woo, 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 woo. I'm a, basically saying he gonna he blow his ops down. You gonna be hold you you gonna be holding him like Scrolly G was holding his homie. You 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 see that that shit would be disrespectful right there, even though. He's saying it a diss towards you feel me. He's saying, okay, if I should, I'm gonna blow, I'm gonna blow your ass down. Have you holding your homie like Scrolly G? You feel me? Was that's a diss to his people's, but then Scrolly G gonna take it like, damn, bro, you disrespecting my people too at the same time, type shit. You feel me? So I'm understanding where he coming from too. You shouldn't diss out shit you can't take. No. That's how I look at it. Yeah, facts. It's like if you have ops, you have and you want to not rap about them or not say anything disrespectful to them, it takes a lot of self control. Yeah. Because when you're really in there in the moment and some shit pops into your head that, that would rhyme good and it's disrespectful as and you know the fans are going to love it, that takes a lot of self control to be like, nah, I'm going to keep trying to think of something else. It's literally, that's all it is. Like um, the shit you posted earlier. Man, uh, the Trap City shit. Boom. What them niggas say on that shit? All right, so the track. All right, there's a vlog with on the couch. Shout out on the couch TV. Shout out on the couch. That's my boy on phone now. Um, so, pretty strong. And part of my right, family. I will pay five dollars a month to be able to watch your videos without the swears edited out of them because it is so hard to watch that shit with every <laughs> single word edited out, and it drives me crazy. I will give you five dollars a month. Make a Patreon or a you members only that? version, you hear that on please. The couch? Put it together. So I That's a suggestion. Man. So look, the whole Trap City shit. So you, I guess, after you did the song with Screwly. I mean, after you did Screwly or whatever, mm. you had in the song, you said that you got, or you, you did, a, uh, you was probably on IG Live, you said that you just got off the phone with somebody over there from Trap City. Nah, that's on the song. It's on the song. That's yeah. on the song. All right. Yeah. So they were saying, they the, on the couch asked me, he's like, so uh, Billionaire asked if he was on the phone with one of y'all niggas. And then they said, no, I'll never do a song with Billionaire. He our original ops. They killed Chris. Whoa. 
Saw that. Whoa. That's he didn't say very, you. He said that's, they. That's very federal. Don't put me, we, them, and nothing with nobody getting killed. I'm an artist, number one. Number two, you know what you know. You feel me? Like, the world know what they know. Niggas know they has been getting built way before Doom them came over there. You feel me? Like, you feel me? But that ain't got nothing. I ain't here to talk about them at all. That come back to what you just said. Shit rhymes. You feel me? I don't know them niggas. Yeah. You feel me? I was ever on the phone with them niggas. So you was never, you was just on there using that as a line. Popping it. I'm popping it. All you right. feel me? Like, I'm popping it. Like, I, I would never, just like how they feel, I feel the exact same way. I will never in my life be able to be friends with them niggas. Why? Because it's deeper shit that has been going on from years ago. You feel me? Like, this rap shit that y'all see between dude and them, that's, that's, they brought, they gonna sign a broadcast that we had years ago. You feel me? Like, our shit was broadcasted with the other ops. They was all off too when all that shit was going on, 2012 and all that shit, everybody was dying. Yeah. Like, they was in the midst of that shit. They just didn't have no rappers. They wasn't famous for they didn't shit. They have a you name because now nobody, like, they name getting out there. But who was Chris, though? Because I, I ain't really never heard of him. Who Chris was, was cool. It's merch. It was cool. I knew Chris. Chris was cool. He was short, he was shorty. It's merch. He died yeah. on my little brother, baby mama porch. You feel me? Like, because Mama Duck even responded to the post and said that she was there and seeing Chris die or whatever. You feel so, me? Like, she said she denounced it and she said that. Uh, you feel me? Yeah. I don't know what niggas be saying, bro. They yeah. say what they want to say, but you feel me? Chris was cool. He was a, a, a good shorty. You feel me? Like, normal shorty growing up in Chicago, trying to just get out. You feel me? Shit happens. I didn't know uh, Trap City and 63rd was that close. So, how far is y'all block? Or y'all even walk? Y'all like That's walking like, distance. Right, like, Close as O Block, literally. Yeah. Like they just up some more. It ain't, that shit ain't far at all, bro. So if yeah. Trap City beefs with the Bloodhounds, then that also helps explain why Q50 and them were happy to hop on the shit with Screwly going at 63rd and you and all that. No, I'm so confused about that, bro. Look, that's that's how that's how the part two of the song came. You heard? Like, because when I talked to Screwly, you feel me? He hold it down. He never said, yeah, um, Q50 dissed you too. Mm. He never said that. He like, like, yeah, I dissed you. He told me what he said and everything. Like, yeah, yeah I told, I said, I'm gonna slap the shit out of Billy, this and that. I said, swag a party with Billy. I mean, swag a party <laughs> with Billy. Woo woo. So when y'all seen when he dropped, I dropped literally an hour later. Yeah, like we're back to back, right? Like, after. I literally dropped an hour later. Like, I told him I was going to the studio. We sat on the phone for a whole hour and a half, bro. It got to the point that niggas so burnt the fuck out. I started preaching to the nigga, telling him, like, bro, slow down, bro. Like, like, be cool, bro. Like, you got a, you got a life ahead of you, bro. Like, be cool. Stop letting this get in your head. Like, you feel me? Like, you, you got some talent. You cool. Like, it got to that point where I started feeling bad for the little nigga. You feel me? Like, did you feel bro. like he was just like too into the let's go to war? No, nah, even that. Like, I can't even say that because he was saying the same thing. What he, he ain't ducking no rack. You feel me? He's saying the same shit. I ain't ducking no rack, but went into it. It's a rap battle, then it could be a rap battle. But if it's that, then let us know it's that. And I'm telling us that the same thing, twin. And I go off your energy. Y'all started this shit. Y'all really gonna dead it and let us know what's going on, or we can just finish it. Just like that. Like. Yeah, you feel me? That ain't really too much to say. You feel me? He, he keeping it a buck. You feel me? You keeping it a buck of being a stack, you feel me? If you don't fuck with this video, I know you're going to fuck with another motherfucking video, but I know you fuck with this video, so go watch another motherfucking video. Also, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, turn on post notifications so you never miss out on any content like this. Go!